qué lindo sería. Yo sé que me dices que sí, que sí, que sí, que sí. Yo sé que me dices que sí. Top of the Sports Smack Zone for this Friday and we're starting off with football. Granada and Alaves clashed earlier on Friday to kick off action in round 16 of La Liga in Spain. Granada leading 2-1 in stoppage time in this match. Let's have a quick look now at the remaining fixtures for the round of 16 in Spain's top flight. Sevilla at home to Villarreal. Real Betis traveling to Barcelona. Mallorca away to Atletico Madrid. The Defending champions, Real Sociedad at home to Real Madrid, a game we looked at, we look at closely in a couple of minutes from now. Rayo Vallecano at home to Espanyol, Elche facing Cadiz, Osasuna traveling to Levante, Celta Vigo at home to Valencia, and Getafe, they will be at home to Athletic Bilbao. The table toppers, Real Madrid in third place, Real Sociedad will clash on Saturday. Brent Sancho now joins us for a preview of this fixture. Uh, Brent, uh, great to have you as usual on the Sports Max Zone, especially on a Friday looking ahead to some exciting action on, on the weekend. Madrid, we have established in the past couple of weeks, are beginning to find some steadiness, but uh, they have a, a top three team to face this weekend. Uh, your thoughts going in? Yeah, they're certainly finding some steadiness in, in what they've been doing. Uh, they've uh, been... Uh, very successful in the in the lineup that they had. Uh, if I was to make, of course, uh, a, a point a finger at Real Madrid, it would be the fact that I'm, I'm concerned about their players getting burnt out. <clears throat> excuse me, because of the fact that they've been using the same, basically the same starting lineup uh, for most of the time. But look, at the end of the day, Lance, uh, they've been gathering the points, and I think uh, Ancelotti would be thinking to himself that if he can uh, get a big enough cushion that then he could start to looking into rotating the squad. Uh, they certainly look like champions. I, I, I would certainly challenge anyone to name uh, better three players than the likes of Benzema, Modric, and of course, your young Vinny Jr. Uh, as arguably the best three players in La Liga right now. And I think that is the difference in La Liga, uh, those three players for Real Madrid. Yeah, you know what? Um, when you're assessing and anal analyzing games, people like to look at head-to-head -head between teams and so on. And I see that Real Sociedad have only beaten Barcelona, uh, Real Madrid four times in the last 27 meetings. Having said that, the two meetings last year were, were, were drawn results, nil all and 1-1, which is probably a better reflection of the current status of, of both teams. What, what is so problem or what has been so problematic for Real Madrid against Real Sociedad in the past year? Well, there's some genuine talent in Real Sociedad, and then you don't have to go further than David Silva and, of course, the Swede uh, Alexander Isaac uh, up top. Uh, for certain that uh, those are players that have caused uh, Real Madrid problems in the past, and, uh, and certainly as a group, Real Sociedad, uh, certainly starting very well in, in the last edition of La Liga and starting well again in this edition of La Liga. So, yeah, uh, you know, Ancelotti does have his concerns, albeit, of course, David, si David Silva should be out uh, of the, the matchup coming up. Uh, and Isaac is just coming back from injury. Uh, but the thing about it is, and, and you know, as much as, y y yes, you talk about Sociedad, this is really down to Real Madrid. And, and they've not played particularly well, but they've been getting the three points. And, and I think that has been the reason why many believe, including myself, that this is their league to lose. And uh, 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 and the, the likes of Real Sociedad, the, the fact that they're very talented and, yes, they've been getting good results. But when they come up against Real Madrid, they don't have a genuine match winner like Real Madrid. And, and, and that's how they've been winning football games, Real Madrid. They've been beating the top teams, the teams that have been close to them, by having that, that extra player, that extra uh, superstar, that superstar that wins football games. And that's, that's the difference. The fact that, well, is it the passage of time that has caused Real Madrid to shed what seemed to have been uh, Eden Hazard dependence before this season? Under Zidane, when Hazard wasn't playing, it was a problem. It dominated the narrative before matches. And on the, uh, uh, during the game, you could see instances where you felt as a viewer watching that hmm, maybe if Hazard was on the pitch, that problem could be solved, that particular problem could be solved. There isn't that. And it's almost as if nobody's talking about the fact that Eden Hazard is rarely used these days by Carlo Ancelotti. So is it the passage of time that has brought this new reality or is it a little bit more Ancelotti's influence on getting some of the younger players like Vinicius to come to hand, as they'd say? I think you hit the nail on the head right there at the end, uh, George. Vinicius Jr. And, that, and that's, that's the reason why we're not having a conversation about Hazard. He's the new superstar of Real Madrid. He's come to life. 
Ancelotti has put a lot of faith into him uh, as a player. And, and, and let's be fair, he has repaid that faith in what he's been able to do. Uh, and as much as the, the, the buckle that is Hazard and the cost, uh, the fact that uh, he, he's not lived up to the expectation uh, in a Real Madrid should, all of that could be forgotten because of what Vinicius Jr. is currently doing. Uh, and if Real Madrid were to go on to win La Liga, a lot of it will be surrounded uh, by the, the performances of Vinny Jr. so far. And, uh, and if he continues to play in the way that he's been playing, uh, you know, you would have to suggest that uh, he, he and him and, of course, Benzema and Modric, but more Vinny Jr. because we're trying to draw a, 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 a parallel to, to Hazard. It's the reason why, and and and, uh, and I don't see uh, that changing anytime soon. Because as I said, uh, Ancelotti hasn't rotated his squad much, uh, and Vinny Junior and the younger players is is what is his preferred option. Yeah, two two names that English football fans would know very well will not be available for Real Sociedad in this game. You mentioned that David Silva, the veteran, will be out. Also, Nacho Monreal, who played at Real Madrid, is also out for Real Sociedad for the Basque team. But let me ask you this. There's a young man playing for, well, he's not so young anymore, plays for Real Sociedad, who for a brief spell had the world at his feet at Manchester United under David Moyes' leadership. Of course, David Moyes later managed Real Sociedad in Spain. Adnan Yanozai, has he found his level in La Liga, you would say? And can he rise to the occasion to give Sociedad the little stardust that they may need to get a result against Real in this round? I would say he's been a lot more consistent, and, and I would put an asterisk next to it, George, because when uh, David, Se David Silva came into the squad, I think he enjoyed playing a lot more because what that did is gave him, it gave Yanazai the opportunity uh, to do what he's good at, and, uh, and, and that is taking players on, and, and that is, of course, uh, running at players and having that freedom. Uh, and, of course, uh, it, it doesn't hurt to have a forward like Alexander Isaac, uh, of course, to, to find in the box. So, yeah, I think he's, he's finding his rhythm, but a lot of it has to do with uh, the sum of the parts that are around him. Um, as a player, I think he did underwhelm at Manchester United. There's no one that could disagree with that. Uh, but I think what is happening now uh, with the type of players, the particular type of players that he has around him, he has certainly shown. And, and last season is indicative of that. And he started well again this season. All right. Yeah, all right, Brent, we'll look forward to what happens this weekend and uh, just uh, see if uh, Real Madrid can maintain their seven-point lead atop the standings as Real Sociedad are trying to get closer to the lead. We'll talk in the, in the new week. Thanks, Brent. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Yeah, still a lot more football to talk about on the Sportsmax Zone, and we'll get to that after this.